two, one. Hi, Stamping Friends. It is Marilyn here with Stamping Creations with Marilyn. Excited, excited day to show you the new Stampin' Up! catalog that went live before noon today, actually. So I have a few things to show you out of it, but lots of information on the inside of this, this gorgeous tool that we have to share with you. So just checking, I'll see everything is there. I do have a couple things to mention to you in this catalog, just to help you get excited. We have over 300 new products, over 400 full color samples, five new in colors, 22 new dye bundles, six new punch bundles, which is a little bit different than we've had before. New ribbons, new embellishments, new papers, of course, new kits, and two new stamp and cut emboss machines. Now, just a word on those machines. They are in the catalog. You will see them if you've already received the catalog. You've probably noticed them, but they are not available to purchase just yet, not even for demonstrators. So we are anxiously waiting to get our hands on those. So I will switch you over to where you can see what I'm what I'm going to show you and tell you about a couple other housekeeping kind of things and then we'll get into the catalog so hang tough here see if this works that looks like it did so you should be able to see me here now and I want to mention as usual that I have Sorry, guys. I will get back to it. While you're waiting for me, um, this is the host code that I will. Uh, be using for the next little while if you do want to place an order up to $200 please use that if not if you go over the 200 you will earn rewards yourself and there's lots of lots of things to pick from for that and during the month of June anybody that has either an order of their own or a, a party over $300 there's an extra $30 of host rewards for you the other promotion that's happening during the month of June is if you do sign up for the starter kit, whether you decide you want to be a demonstrator or not, totally up to you, no pressure, nothing, no sign up, you don't have to stay for so long or anything else, you will get to pick a free bundle. And those bundles are on, I did have a page number here, 173 to 179 for the dies and 168 to 169 for the, the punches. And we will look at some of those shortly, but you could get something up to $78 worth there. So a really good deal on that. Um, what else did I have to mention? Oh, comment on this video because this is my catalog launch because we can't have in-house things happening with COVID here. If you comment on the video, I will enter your name for a draw. And I would appreciate you letting me know where you're from. What your favorite stamp set is, whether in this catalog or previous ones, and what is the first thing on your wish list? Just to create a little bit of activity, and that will help me with getting noticed on Facebook. And again, a reminder as you're looking at this, Stamping Staycation is coming on June 13th, a week from Saturday. Two other demonstrators and myself are doing an online event, and if you share my video anywhere from May 19th to June 9th, any of my Facebook Lives, if you share them, your name will go in a draw for the $47 registration fee, and you can attend with us. If you have already purchased that, I will refund you your money if you, have, if you win. So let's get started looking at some of the catalog items. The front of the catalog gorgeous gorgeous layout kind of 
I would call it woodsy. It is done with a lovely U stamp set, which I do have, so I'll show you that close up. But before we get into that one, just wanted to mention a new little beginner catalog that they have come out with for people who have never seen Stampin' Up! before. I can't imagine who that would be. And it's it's quite laid out very easy for you to follow. There are some stamp sets, some items that you would need to make these particular projects. And you notice it has Stampin' Seal, which is our new adhesive. As of yesterday, uh, Snail is no longer available, so the seal and I learned the other day that that stands for Simple, Easy, Adhesive, Laydown. So we're quite anxious to get our hands on that, see what it's like. So uh, this little brochure is available. And I do have some, if I haven't passed one on to you already, let me know when I'll get it to you. So that is that piece. Now, the catalog. Some great things in here. So now we can show you the inside. We can show you the outside before. Starting on page one, there is a list of suites, and it's broken down so you know where to find things in the catalog. All occasion, love, thanks, and support, kids and babies, birthday, artistic expression, accessories, and more. You'll also notice at the bottom, there is a 10% off. Let's see that. I'll try and hold it up a little bit closer. To 10% off select bundles. So when you buy the bundles that I was talking of earlier on page 173 or 168, if you buy them as a bundle, you get 10% off. And anything new in this catalog, which would be some of those new 300 products, should have the N on them. So we'll highlight, point out a few of those as we go through. The next page shows you the Stampin' Up! family, which is Shelly, who was one of the founders and her family. Great read about their values and what they live by. Great company, great company. The page three shows the different kinds of stamps we have. We have a cling stamp, which is a red rubber and a photopolymer. And again, I'll mention those as we go through the, <clears throat> the samples I have. Stamp it up, we have various techniques, two-step stamping, markering, using markers to color, stamping off, pattern building, masking, heat embossing, a little bit about each of those and where you can find more information. So for instance, two-step stamping on page 27, if you go to that page, it gives you a summary of two-step stamping and how to use it with this particular stamp set, but it does explain it. So lots of great information. The catalog used to be called an idea book and it still is an idea book for sure. Next pages four and five have the colors. Stampin' Up! is noted for its color coordination. So if you have paper, designer paper, ribbons, um, embellishments as in sequins or uh, rhinestones, those kind of things. They And if it says through that color, they will coordinate. This page mentions punches and dies, which I'll show you a little bit more in detail. Then we come to six and seven, which are the kits. Paper Pumpkin is a subscription, monthly subscription you could subscribe to. Then we have all-inclusive kits, which include stamp set and everything. Then we have project kits, which are the supplies, but you buy the stamp set extra. Product medley is everything that's here, so that would give you all the extras as well. And you'll notice mini on this one, meaning that the dies in there will work with me I'm trying to find it with the new mini stamp and cut emboss machine. So there is going to be two, the regular size one that takes the regular dies and embossing folders that we we've known with the big shot. And then there's a mini one which takes 
the smaller ones. So if you do buy the mini one and want to have the coordinating supplies, look for the word mini on the project. So then we get into the sweets. <clears throat> Flowers for every season is the first one. And as you can see, it's really bright and colorful. And <clears throat> they have put together a suite which has a sweet collection for one number, you can get everything that's listed here. So it's not that you're flipping through, oh, where's the designer paper, where's the stamps, where's the, the punches, <coughs> excuse me, or the dies. But it gives you, on this one, you've got a stamp set, another stamp set, designer paper, memories and more, memories and more cards, shaker domes, ribbon, gems, and some blends. So <clears throat> it is highlighting the in colors, which I'll maybe show you those first. And the other thing in this catalog that they're showing you is the colors that will coordinate with the designer paper. So this year we have some gorgeous new colors. I, I don't know, I guess I like them all the time, but these I really like. So we have Magenta Madness. Cinnamon Cider, and I will hold these up closer once I get them laid out. Uh, Bumblebee, Just Jade, and Misty Moonlight. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, my lighting's not great. I'm working a lot, so I have a new lamp coming later today. So those are the colors, and they go together beautifully. They go with our other colors. I've seen some demonstrators that have already shared how the blues, they're not the same, even though you think that might be the same as one we've had before, it's not. So gorgeous, gorgeous in colors. Together with them are the ribbons. The ribbon is, whoops, finger stuck. It's a soft, soft twill, is what I would call it, back from my sewing days, but really soft, so really easy to to work with. And again, you have Magenta Madness, Misty Moonlight, Cinnamon Cider, Bumblebee, and Just Jade. Unfortunately, we as demonstrators were not able to get the ink pads until today. We can't order them. So I don't have anything stamped with the ink, but I do have some cards made with it. So just show you the designer paper, if you order a pack of designer paper, again, you get all five colors. They are polka dotty on this side, kind of denim looking on that side. And I do believe, yes, there is. Just grab one of the other ones. There's another one that has a wood grain kind of finish, and it has words like to love, do what we do, share what we love. So great uses, and you can see lots of lots of things happening with the designer paper. And to share with you, and I'll show you these again at the end, but I have made a very simple card. Like I said, no ink to match, and I didn't want to take away from the new in colors by using a different ink. So I used the daisy medium daisy punch. So sweetly stitched dies, a bit of the designer paper ribbon and white highlighted with a bit of black. So again, <clears throat> Misty Moonlight, Bumblebee, Magenta, Magenta Madness, Just Jade, and Cinnamon Cider. Not a, a great fan of brown usually, but I really like this one. So again, <clears throat> I'll just tuck those aside and we'll have a peek at them towards the end again. And also, get these out so that you're not glare. <clears throat> they have enamel dots, again in all those colors. And we were allowed to order two each of those. Just heard this morning that they are on back order now. So obviously we're very popular. They're just the right size. You may notice, you may have noticed that that is what I've tucked in the center of the daisies there. So. They will come back <clears throat> into um, supply where everybody can get them. 
it just takes a while when this new catalog switches over like this. So with my designer paper, I like to set up a sheet like this. And this particular one took two because I can't tell you how many sheets are in that one right there. It comes in a six by six pack. <laughs> I don't know what I did with it right now. And I've laid it out. These are two inch squares. So it gives you a bit of an idea of what they will look like. And hopefully it's not too much of a glare. So this is one side. This is the other side is how I've laid it out. You can see lots of flowery designs. And even though they look the same, they are different on the, the other pages. And as well, I have put cardstock that matches them. So in order of, well, they're alphabetical order, the way they are in the back of your designer paper package when you get it. So the Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Magenta Madness, Misty Moonlight, Poppy Parade, which is a karaoke, well, color that we've had for a while, and the Whisper White. I'm going to make gorgeous, gorgeous papers with those. So just envision... And of course, they've given you samples here that you can certainly use if you're looking for ideas, but lots of color selection in those. And while well, before we leave that page, I have the Memories and More cards and envelopes. So you can buy these. They come in the in colors, white on the inside for writing, and nice we had them matched up there it is. they have a liner on the inside of the envelope already those are on page 10 or page 154 and it's $15 for a pack of 10 cards 10 envelopes so I have gone ahead on this case and made five of them with Cards from the Memories and More pack. Oh, there's the designer paper. And the Memories and More pack found on the same pages. It comes with your cards that are the four by six. No, not quite. Yeah, they would be four by six. You have stickers, which are some of what I've used here. This is a sticker, and I stamped on it with what I thought was a close color. Stamped on this one. This one came this way. So it's a smaller card and you're they're they're made for pocket photo albums, but also they're great for quick and easy cards. You can see there's Christmas words in them. Uh, lined if you want to write. And Festive feeling. This particular one is a Christmas one. I made my first Christmas card. There's another one that's a Christmassy design. So very nice to have Christmas designs at this time of year as well. If you want to start, there's another Christmassy. So comes with those and then your larger ones. Same idea. And I have flipped these. So like those would be the back, the front. So lots of possibilities. And then those are stickers as well. As these ones are with them. So another great quick card making thing. I tend to keep them in there so they're not loosely falling all over. And like I say the cards and the envelopes. Quick and easy cards. Those are some large um, stamp boxes that we used to be able to buy. We can no longer buy the large ones. So there is the designer paper. And like I say, it comes in six by six and there's 48 sheets. So you have the five designs for each, four designs of each color, five colors, and making 48. So that is what I have on hand for the flowers. For every season I have seen this is a punch I believe yes a jar punch so I have seen some cards actually well thinking of that I just received this card as a swap and it has the punch 
done out of um, window sheets. Some of that paper and the sunshine, sunshine, sunflower stamp set. Isn't it beautiful? Great ideas that people have. So here's one of the 10% bundles. This is another bundle, 10%. Over here, you have Shop the Project. So it's showing you that if you want to make this particular card, you will need the embossing folder um, to do that. So kind of putting everything where you can find it easily. Other stamp sets, you'll notice I have them highlighted in yellow. That means that I have them. And these are carried forward. They don't have an N in front of them. Distinctive. I'll show you one of those after because I do have one of those. Reversible. They've come out recently with stamps that are reversible. So this would be one side, this would be the other. That's what the bracket is indicating. Some beautiful cards done with that. Uh, shop the project. This one's showing gold, gilded gems and elements that are being used on these. So you have tulips carried over from the, the spring catalog. Lovely you. Now, let me just tidy up the pile before I have it all knocked down. And I'll show you this particular bundle is a punch called Lovely Labels Pick Punch. And you can see without too much glare, it has two different designs and three different sizes. So you have half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch for each of them. And I recommend on all of my punches that you punch from this side. A little bit um, tricky maybe to get the, the paper in there, but once you do turn it around, especially the small ones, I found that they didn't stay centered. And then you can punch. And when you get a punch, it comes with instructions with really tiny writing, but it does tell you to punch it a few times on a piece of paper because there could be oils in here from the manufacturing. And I have noticed that, so it is something that, that I do follow. But for this particular punch, I have done a, a cheat sheet to show you the difference and to get it to be the right size, I will do a, a short video and have it on my sites later on, but virtually you keep this, then you punch the one end, keep your, your throwaway piece, the tag, lay it on the other end where you want it, and then Use your pen to mark it on this side or pencil, cut it off there. And then when you put that end in, into the punch, it will punch it and it will be centered. Learned it online from someone, sorry, I can't remember who it was, but really kind of a neat technique. So this is what I do with my punches and my dies. You'll see some of those dies later to um, remember what all they do, shapes. Easier to have a visual of those kind of things. And this is the lovely U stamp set, which has cursive as well as the words are, are beautiful. I can see lots. You can see the background stamped with that. And that is what's used on the front of the catalog. So a great bundle, 10% savings there. And people are um, sharing lots of ideas with, with using those punches. Here's another one that showing the color palette, but it's also showing different stamps on them. So World of Good is a travel, as you can see. Travel kind of uh, suite, showing the world. Um, it's got paper. Well, first of all, I'll show you the, my layout with it. So again, two sides. So this is one side, this is the other. Beautiful, beautiful copper brass foil, sorry. So in this one, there is black 
basic black, brass foil, bumblebee, cinnamon cider, crumb cake, early espresso, misty moonlight, mossy metal, and whisper white. And to show you the paper, the, uh, you can see, I have cut this down to six by six, so it's more, more manageable. They do come in 12 by 12. There are words on that one. There's Berlin, so it is a map. See lots of these happening with or being used for scrapbook pages. This one is United States, Minneapolis, Idaho, and then as you can see, the other side is more of a a solid image. So that would be your paper. It's here, and again, it's a sweet collection. You can order the whole thing for that. I did not. I ordered the paper, the suede ribbon, which is. It's hard to, hard to see, but it is like a suede finish. And I ordered the embossing folder, which is called Old World Paper. And as you can see, I did it on the Flushing Bride, I believe it was. But it does wrinkle it, just like, just about like, remember, one of the techniques we used to have is to spray it with water and squish it all up and make everybody go, ooh, don't do that. Well, now we have an embossing folder to do that. So, like I said, the designer paper comes in 12 by 12, and this is, well, that's really going to blind you. This is the brass, and it comes <clears throat> as two sheets in the package for $6.75, so about the same as all the other glimmer papers that we, we have. So, again, the colors that go with it, great layout. Here's the stamp set. It is showing that you can use it with the dies. And there is the bundle that comes with it. The geared up garage was carried over. Here's another camping one, which I'm sure some of us will use lots. Another wood. And it's showing you the smaller, the mini. Stamp and cut emboss that is easy to take with you if you're going, maybe if you're going camping and you want to take your, your stamps with you. Another Good Morning Magnolia was carried forward. Another bundle here with the 10%. And the shop project again. So as you go through the catalog, just keep an eye out for those. Playful pets. I do not have any of those pieces yet, but again, it is a suite that you can get all of the pieces and the pampered pets are so cute, so cute. And in this particular one, you might also like is a cat punch, a dog punch, and a way to goat stamp set. So it's suggesting, you know, reminds you something of um, Amazon. If you're buying on Amazon and you've looked at a lamp, all of a sudden they're showing you at the bottom. You might also like these things. So that's kind of what, what that is for as well. If you look at these particular symbols, those are stamp sets that were created by someone who has reached a million dollar sales with, in their career with Stampin' Up! My good friend, Karen Duke, designed one that we had in the, the holiday catalog this last year with a little elf. So, so once you see those symbols, you'll know that that is, and there is a name there of who's designed them. So, carrying on, I just want to show you as I get to some of the other sets that I have. Ornate Garden. I do have that. So once more, the designer paper has Bumblebee, Early Espresso, Gold foil this time, Mint Macaron, Old Olive, Terracotta Tile, Whisper White. And front and back, these are foils so you can use sponge daubers or sponges to add color in it. 
quilt won't cover, you can wipe it off. So here is the close-up of the designer papers on those beautiful colors again. And I'll go to the ladies, I wrote the whole book, but lots of different colors in each one of them. And then when you flip them, there is your gold. The different designs with the white, a couple with the greens. Lots of possibilities. Lots and lots of possibilities. With those, that particular bundle also comes with a ribbon combo, which is your old olive and your terracotta tile. That's better, so you can see that. Just, just check them to make sure you can see those. The gilded gems are, if you can see that they're raised, all three, three different sizes again. These also are back ordered. This particular set we were eligible to order, and so were you as customers prior to. It was actually available in May, so lots of people have parts of this already. And it comes with two different bundles the ornate layers and ornate, ornate layer, layers dies, and the ornate style stamp set. And this is what I like to do with my dies, is to cut them out on white, mount them on black so that you can see what they're going to look like. Beautiful, beautiful set. Again, I can see many, many possibilities with that. And the other set is Ornate Borders dies and the Ornate Fence. And again, a stamp set with some large words, but some very nice script writing that will fit, fits very well in this particular die. And these are what the border dies look like. These pieces came out of here. So again, lots and lots and lots of possibilities with those. And it also has an embossing folder that does the little tiny flowers very delicate, called Ornate Flowers. So that is the Ornate Bundle. And I know that the pieces, even though they are out of stock and back ordered right now, they will be coming in. So there's some more samples done with each of those sets. So continuing on, hopefully you're enjoying the new catalog. Peony Garden, I do not have any of the pieces for that one yet. I will be getting them. It is a beautiful set. And can't you just see it popping off the, the paper as you go to use it? Just Add Water is about more about watercoloring. We have watercolor paper, another million dollar set, another one here with um, cookies, chocolate. Cute little whimsical characters, whale of a time. Another one that I didn't, I don't even know if you were allowed to have the all to buy any of those, but I didn't get those yet. The Dino Days set carried forward, and so did the dies not as a bundle. Playing with patterns has some letters uh, for scrapbooking, would certainly be a benefit. Here's the same zebras, and here's the, the way to goat. And there's one of the new symbols showing that it's a new set. Forever Greenery. This was my first purchase. And I have quite a few pieces for this. <laughs> Not usually a liking green, but boy, this one popped right out at me. And here it is. So it has a number of greens, and you can see they're all different shades. Garden Green, Just Jade, Pear Pizzazz, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce, Soft Sea Foam, and Whisper White. And again, front and back of all of the designer papers. So those I do have a 6x6 six six to share with you. 
beautiful, beautiful greenery. And especially this time of year, it's so nice to see green. This one has a bit of a peacock. So again, it, it is only six sheets of 12 by 12, but I have put the sides so you've got the chance to see all of them. It comes with these gold, well, it doesn't come with it, the gold hoops. If you buy the, the sweet collection, it does. And that's what they look like. Not quite for me, but... I have a little granddaughter turning six today, and maybe they would fit on her, I'm not sure. But someone recently posted that this was a great way to, to store them in a, one of the embellishment cases and then just punch this out with a circle punch and put it on. So I tried it. works like a charm. It also comes with a ribbon bundle, and it has a gauze kind of ribbon and a gold but really phrase, but it's really pretty when you use it. It comes with two embossing holders. So you can see two different designs. These will fit in the mini, which probably on the other page. But one has leaves, leaves, and one just has a, a design, but those are the designs that you get when you use them. The Forever Flourishing Dyes, they, you can cut either just leaves to put on, there's four of those. These are ones that will fit around stamped images, so lots of variety again. There are your stamped images, and again, script as well as block letters. Beautiful, beautiful stamp set. And as well in this, yes, this bundle and this suite comes with gold laser cut specialty paper. So I have taken one sheet of each of them apart, but you can see the possibilities are endless. And I will be putting some of those together for sure. Again, I have stored them in the cases. We can still buy these. And this, that way. So they, there's lots of different delicate leaf designs. And if you do want to color them, the backside is white. So you can, can do that. This one. But this particular words to, to a friend that makes you smile. And during these times that we're having, that would be wonderful to, uh, to give and receive. So they come, I'll just show you that quickly because if you order them, I don't want you thinking that they're going to come all in pieces like that. They come like this. So they're like a punch out sheet with tissue paper in between them and I even when I took this one apart but I'm not getting rid of that because there's a lot of gold on there yet that, that I can use including that piece and then this one is how the rectangle pieces come and the same thing when I took that apart I thought this could be a really good border for a scrapbook page, a frame. I do uh, have two or three in, in our home of the shadow boxes. And I'm thinking that's where I could use it. And this, I have done a few pieces of different greens with the, with the die cuts. And I've made some, some cards. You can see where I used the layer punch that I showed you earlier. Nothing too fancy, but, and there's one done with the, the gold on it. So 
lots and lots of possibilities with that. So the greenery, uh, I believe the circled hoops are back ordered right now. Again, a very popular set with all of the demonstrators. But like I say, they will come back as soon as Stampin' Up. Some of their back order issue is, of course, COVID because they've had to change number of people working at one time. Field of Flowers is another bundle that comes with a punch. And it's called a border punch. Again, instructions on how to punch before using on your, your products. So here is another card just done with the words are beautiful. They're always and then a combination. And you can punch out. I just punched out the flowers and then tuck them on a little bit of glitz. So that set is full of polymer. And there is a stamp that matches the print. So you could stamp, it's all one stamp. You can see that I've used it there. And then punch out if you wanted to, to punch out the instead of just cardstock. Okay, bring on. Uh, more make your flowers blossom. In good taste, I do have designer paper there. Now this one, your designer paper is $29, but it is double the number of sheets. So it took two of my pages. It has basic gray, early espresso, gray granite, night of navy, petal pink, rococo rose, smoky slate, berry vanilla, and whisper white. And as I flipped through that, I was surprised to see the pink, but it's really a neat design. And they've taken actual pictures and created the designer papers with them. So this one looks like wool, like a carpet. This looks like a... Um, like you put concrete on the wall kind of thing. Another carpet looking one. So those are the two inch pieces, but I do have, just quickly go through them so you can see, wood grain tile, burlap tile, wood grain, like paneling we used to have on the wall in the old house. The pink, again, ceramic tile. Carpet, more carpet, and that card I can show you on that one. Different, uh, some of the blue, more tile. I worked for a tile company many, many years ago, and we did have lots of tile like that. More carpet looking, more tile. So lots of woodsy, masculine. I can see, yeah. Lots of possibilities there, and of course they've given you lots of samples to to work with. The dies and the stamp set they come as a bundle, so your ten percent savings there. And again, combination of script and block work letters, and these are the red rubber. So I've got a couple out because I did. Those of you who picked up a catalog from me. I gave you some some uh, cardstock to make a card today with me, so that's the set that I'm going to use. And I just want to show you these. These dies are amazing. This this one has a stitched edge around it. This one has just a slightly embossed, so it's not cut, but it, I don't know if you can see the the edging on it. But trust me, it's there. And that one has glue where I shouldn't have put it, but let's see. Shows better in here. So again, I okay. So that's the difference. Easier to uh, to show you. So this would be the embossed one, and this one is the stitched one. And I do keep mine on a magnet. They're not bought specifically for these, but the the magnet part there works. And here is. 
the card that I received as a swap. So it's done with that pinkish paper, the dies, this one's stitched, this one's not, a ribbon that's carried over, and some of the wood embellishments, which I don't have out of that set. But lots and lots of possibilities there. And there's a bigger, bigger picture of that. Artistry blooms. I don't have any of that one, but while, while, we're, just, while we're there, I'm going to quickly put that card together that, that I mentioned. So again, because we were not allowed to purchase any inks, I have Magenta Madness, my card base, which is the heavy cardstock. And each of you who received a catalog from me would have got one of those. I'm just going to use black. And I just read that Memento was back open too. So if you don't have a black ink or we're hoping to replace one, it'll be a bit of a wait. I've cut these out because we are allowed to do those and give out, but we cannot stamp anything. So beautiful. So it's a bit wet, so I'm not going to, to do anything as far as putting it on there just yet. And the other thing that you can do, because we don't have any inks, but if you use Versamark, and this is really a clean Versamark, and stamp it just all over as a background, it will give you, potentially, if I angle it so you can see it, but it will dry with a little bit of color. And again, maybe, maybe there. So that is my way of uh, doing things even though we can't don't have the inks to color with. There it is, showing up a little bit better in my eyes than this. So and then I would put that on with with dimensions. So hopefully you have your card and hopefully you have some fun with it. So onward and upward. Artistry blooms. Papers are gorgeous. Uh, different kind of builder dies. Always trying something different. These these artists in this company are just amazing. Background stamps. And I believe the background, there are a couple of them that are on wood yet. The rest of them are all need the glass blocks. The colors, again, in the colored families. And they are laid out with cardstock, stamping pad, ink, and combo of blends. So you'll see that not all of them have blends. Some of them are new. Well, this is Melon Mambo. They are going to give us blends, which is good. Again, assortments and bundles. So you could buy a bundle of ink pads. You could buy refills. And we do sell ink spots that you could color them with. The organization. Uh, oh, it's got a special name. Storage trays. So the storage system, then we get into the tools. Uh, some of them, water painters are new. Again, they're looking for that N on your catalog. Lots of the others have been here before. Here's the classic stamp and spot. There is some of them that do come in colors, but there are lots of the ones that you can buy uninked and ink with your own designer paper. Again, not only in the suites where it showed, but it's here. If you want to look on those pages, the stamping trimmer and the score plate. Here's that specialty paper that I just showed you. There are some mini paper pumpkin boxes, square vellum doilies, color velveteen paper. Very interesting. Rainbow Glimmer Paper, 
Memories and more. This is where I purchased the, the two that I showed you earlier. Lots of embellishments. The gold hoops that we talked about. Butterfly gems, antique corners. This goes with the, the world suite. The jar bubble. Oh, shaker domes. Okay. Those are like bubble packs. And what we call snow globe shaker domes. Those came out in the Christmas, the holiday catalog. The tools, as in the paper snips and the bone folder and the take your pick tool. Ribbons. Some of the ribbons did come back. These from the end colors from last year. And this one, this one. This is a double reversible one. Beautiful ribbons always. Here's the stamp and seal to replace the, the snail. And the glass blocks that you will need. Then we get into the stamparatus, a very valuable tool if you have. And then into the punches. Some of them are builder punches. Punch bundles. This is something new how they're displaying it so you can see that okay this is a punch but it goes with a, a particular stamp set the tulips this is that lovely labels pick a punch the stamp and cut emboss machine which i have seen a video on but i have not seen the actual machine and when you do order it it comes with the plates you need and the one i'm excited most excited to see the whole machine, but the metal, um, metallic magnetic cutting plate. It's magnet everywhere, not just the magnets here and there, which cause your dies to jump. So quite anxious to see that when it comes out. And then you have the dies bundles. Again, great display showing you what you can do with them. And all the different possibilities, the ornate ones. And see some I don't have them all highlighted so I don't have them all probably never will here's your mini showing that these have pieces mm, I guess all of them would fit through the the mini whereas um, something like this would not because it's too wide the ovals the circles the squares and rectangles We're all, they, they showed up on our retired list, but you can still use the ones you had from before. They're just made by a different manufacturer. Embossing folders. I have, uh, I've shown you a couple of them. There are, and this one is from the, one of the new sets, and I don't have it, but it's another very soft, Something like this one, which is your subtle embossing folder. So, <laughs> more great cards. Um, this one's done with that die from the ornate bundle. This, this particular swirl has been retired, but this is the ornate paper. And this one is the punches with the ornate paper. So, just a few more cards there. And... Then we get into the host and earn, like I mentioned in the beginning. For June, if you host or if you yourself order $300 or more, you get an extra $30 in Stampin' Rewards. If you do host and want to use your rewards, these are your best bang for your buck kind of thing. And if you want to join me, I would love to have you join my team. Again, this particular month for June, we have a, they have given us the special of an extra bundle, a free bundle. Pick a free bundle, which could be up to $75 worth. So any, any uh, questions on that, be sure and give me a call. Stamp index, which I do use regularly. Accessory index, not so much. I usually get used to it. It's on this half of the page or, or whatever. And... Some more samples, and the back of it shows you that lovely 
lovely new stamp set with the rectangular postage stamp. So that is the catalog. So hopefully I've given you some inspiration to go through it again. I, a good friend once told me always go through it from front to back and then go through it from back to front and you'll see different things. So that gives you an excuse for going through it a second time for sure. So I am going to uh, switch you back so I can say goodbye. I thank you for joining me. Hopefully that has helped and get you to, there we are. So just a reminder, again, Stamping Staycation. Registrations will close on June 11th, but sooner the better. We would love to have you join us. We're already posting on our Facebook group for that. And anyone who shares this video or any other video of mine from May 19th on will have their name in a draw for that. And today, if you make a comment on this video, I will put your name in a draw for a prize there as well. And I'll figure out how to get it to you. With this COVID happening, we're not having in-person classes, which is kind of disappointing for sure. It's kind of lonely down here, but um, we'll do what we have to do. So take care and thank you for joining me. I will see you again. Bye now.